Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Okay. Is it is it AM? Yes. You may ask okay. your question. Yeah. Okay. I'm asking. Um. I said I have a. Uh, hello. Yes. Go ahead. Ask your question, please. Yeah. I said I have a uh, friend in the U.S. who has have a very great. Hello? Yeah, continue. I can hear you. Yeah, so he went to, we want me to come um, there and then we work together. Yeah, because I am a press reserve in the Gambia. So so he want me to come there and work with him. So what do you think, like, um, he should do or I should do, like, for all those user stuff, you know? Uh, you are friendly. Whether it's a U.S. citizen, not a U.S. citizen, will not help you anything. What they it can help you is to find the opportunity. If you you have qualification is for education, is to bring opportunity for education. Uh, as I've been saying, if he's inviting you, yes, he can ask you the invitation letter. But invitation letter means nothing at all. Invitation letter is just a letter that a friendly letter. I want you to come to visit me. Blah 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 blah. And another letter is writing to the consular that I'm um, so and so. This is my social security number. I'm a US citizen or green card holder. I've been here. This is my address. I want to invite my friend or my brother, my relative, to come to America. We'll be here for a month, whatever. But that letter still means nothing. That letter will not give you a visa. A visa will be given because you, you need to prove that you come to America for a visit. And you you go back to your home country, so you need to have good. I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about um, a work visa. Like he's having a bakery in the US, so he want me want me to come. He employ me like he want me to come and work for him. No, you, he cannot do that because you cannot just okay. bring someone. Uh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Like he, he cannot be able because if you have bakery, that is a very small job. Because in order to bring someone for work purposes, let's say. It's supposed to be a company sponsoring you as H1 visa, not a visitor visa to come to work. No, it's supposed to come with H1 visa. H1 visa, skilled visa. You have to prove to the uh, Department of Labor that uh, this person or this job, not many people can be able to do it, especially Americans. What he can do is to do this way. He can okay. hire you as a maid. That will be the only thing he can be able to do. And to hire someone as a maid, there is a special contract. There is a procedure to get that contract. Obviously, you have to assure the person will be working only eight hours per day. And you have to give the accommodation, you have to give food, you have to give insurance. And the, it, must, it must be above the minimum wage of that particular state. And above the minimum wage, it will be above, uh, above 1,500. So on the court, it has to say that you are going to be a maid. And why do you get the maid from overseas? Because maybe you have kids who want one of the culture, whatever. So you can bring you, you can bring you as the maid, you can become to work as a maid. There is a special contract of that nature. Uh, yeah, but not just like you coming to work per se is work is a professional oh, because of a bakery. Yeah, he needs to go to ask you why you, 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 there are no any bakery person to do cake in America. You have to bring someone from Gambia or from any country in Africa. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome.